Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Martin Cliff here. Um, it feels a little bit strange to not be saying it's Martin from Voyager Project. But um, if you caught our last update, um, you'll know Voyager Project is no more, at least for the time being. Um, main reason being, Eva and I are moving to Hong Kong. Um, okay, I talked a little bit about it in the last video. Uh, but it's now it's Sunday 5th of May and it's 103 days till we go to Hong Kong. Um, so obviously things are starting to progress. I've sold a whole load of gear and I've got a few more things that will be going on eBay in the next day or two. Um, they're mostly pedals and, and stuff like that. Um, I am still taking guitar gear with me, um, don't, don't get me wrong. Um, and I'll talk about that a little later. Um, but just um, wanted to kind of you know, update you and touch base with all the, all the YouTube people out there, particularly as I seem to be getting more subscribers. You know, I spent a long time saying, oh I've got 98 subscribers, 97, 98, 99, 98. Um, it took ages to get to 100 and then all of a sudden I got to 100 and then I had 110 and then 121 I think I'm at now. So I'm really grateful to all of you who subscribed. Uh, thank you for all that. Um, there aren't going to be a huge number of updates over the next few weeks. Um, basically because I certainly won't be doing much in the way of gear stuff because in about a month's time, just over five weeks, maybe six, uh, all my gear that I'm taking to Hong Kong has to be shipped because obviously it takes eight to nine weeks to get from the UK to Hong Kong on a ship. So um, basically all I will have left in the UK is um, a single ignited tweaker head, a my little 110 uh, Laney cabinet that I kind of used to be an LC15 but the amp broke so I salvaged the speaker and the box and turned it just into a speaker cab um, and my Dean Evo XM or whatever it is, uh, my, my sort of cheap guitar because all of my good guitars are all going um, so as a process, I've, I've sort of condensed the rig down, and I'll talk about that in, in a minute. So I'll cut to it. Um, but so what are we going? What am I going to be doing? What does the future hold for music and for me and everything else? Um, well, Voidy Project um, is, say, like going into hibernation. Um, the website has been sort of stripped down to just being a sort of basic holding page. That's going to stay there uh, and obviously our MP3s will still be available on Amazon and iTunes and CD Baby and all that kind of stuff. Um, but certainly we're not going to be putting any any real sort of effort or drive into Voyager Project for the next few years. Um, you know, if, for those of you who haven't kept up, uh, obviously I'm going to Hong Kong uh, with Eva um, Ed is still in the UK, up in York, uh, and Dan is in Bermuda. So it's um, you know, quite a mental distance in terms of you know that just the sheer logistics of putting anything together. Um, doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing music. Uh, as it stands at the moment, I don't have a job in Hong Kong. Eva does, which is why we're going. Um, so I'm going to be spending a lot of time focusing on, on music and hopefully either putting a new band together or joining a new band, doing lots of recording, um, hopefully you know, hooking up with uh, some really good musicians over there and just doing something a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. Well, not more interesting because you know, I love Voyager Project stuff, but just something different that, that challenges and um, you know, takes me somewhere else musically. Um, so that's the plan. Obviously, you know, I'm going to keep doing the music side of things, you know, the gear side of things as well. Um, and my rig is, being it, other than it's been made physically smaller, it's been kept fairly similar in terms of the actual components that, that make it up. So, um, yeah, that's um, all, all good. Uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully I'm going to have plenty of money to buy some nice guitars while I'm over there. Um, so, the studio, Mandic Studios, Martin Cliff Media Solutions, uh, that's all being put on ice. Um, the Martin Cliff Me uh, Media Solutions website at uh, martincliff.co.uk that's going to disappear in a week or two's time um, and it's going to be replaced with my, my new blog um, so it'll still be the same address uh, but I've, I've 
called my new blog, which I haven't started writing yet, but I've sort of started preparing it. It's going to be called The Viking in Hong Kong, um, because you know, I'm true to my Viking roots. Um, you know, my family are, are from Norway and uh, you know, Scandinavia, so you know, it's, it's very much being a sort of culture sort of shock. And I'm going to be blogging about all the stuff that I come into in this new exciting chapter in my life uh, and in our lives together. So. Um, yeah, that, that'll be, I guess, mostly text and photograph blogs, but there'll be some YouTube stuff as well. Um, I'm taking all my video equipment off to Hong Kong with me as well, so there'll be plenty of YouTube updates and stuff going on. Um, but at the moment, I can't say definitely, oh, it'll be focused on this, or it'll be focused on that. Um, you know, watch this space, really. But hopefully I will get to try out some fun stuff and review it. And obviously, you know, be doing lots of new music in the process as well. Okay, so I'm going to cut away now and just talk you through what I've had to do to my rig to make it fit into the um, you know, physically small spaces that you need for Hong Kong. Okay, so I'm attempting to use a um, Steadicam solution here. Um, the small one that I got from smic.co.uk for um, portable camcorders. But let's just looking at, at the rigs that I'll be using. Uh, obviously it's still the Igniter Tweaker. Um, this is the one that has the um, new old stock vintage valves in it, um, some of which are considerably older than I am. Uh, and going into the two cabs, the top cab is loaded with a greenback, um, and the bottom cab, as I come down, is, apologise for my knees clicking, is loaded with the stock G12H30 speaker. Uh, and then I've had to say goodbye to my cool trolley. I've still kept it. I'll hopefully use it again when I move back to England. Um, but I've just put everything into a 4U shock rack, uh, which I will try and get down and show. So what we've got here is just um, a power distribution unit and then a couple of sliding shelves with RJM mini effect gizmos. Um, so the top one, if I pull it out, um, there's a number of pedals, let's see if I can do this. Apologise for the judderiness. Okay, so yeah, we've got the Mini Effect Gizmo uh, in which there are five loops. There is the full time 69 fuzz that's just at the back that doesn't want to come out all the way just now. Um, that's in loop one. 70 fuzz is in loop two. Then the sweet sound mofo vibe is loop three. Full tone OCD is in loop four. And the full tone catalyst is in loop five. Then it goes out to feed the MXR smart gate. Um, you also see that there's a MIDI solutions through box that just splits the MIDI into two. Um, just to make life easier and ensure I don't have any MIDI timing glitches. And then shelf 2 has the power supply which is my trusty uh, Custom Audio Electronics MC401 uh, and then yeah, another Mini Effect Gizmo in which we have and loop 1 I think is the exotic EP booster there. Uh, or it might be the SP compressor actually, I can't remember. I could find out. Um, the SP compressor, EP booster. Turn that on. Yes, it's the SP, com SP compressor in loop 1, the EP booster is in loop 2. Uh, loop 3 is the MXR Custom Audio Electronics Boost line driver and loops 4 and 5 are both carbon copies, MXR carbon copy analog delays. And that's controlled by my complete pedal board at the moment, it's just an RJM Mastermind MIDI foot controller. So as you can see, I mean that is a really small rig, um, you know, much smaller than anything I've used for a good while, but what it enables me to do is fit it all just into the amount of space that the 4U rack takes up um, which just means that I don't have to use up a lot of footprint I don't know what I'll be using yet in terms of um, recording 
at software, what I'll be doing in terms of computer and stuff. I'm taking the PC laptop, but um, other than that, not really sure. So um, yeah, it's all going to be interesting. Uh, some some new challenges for sure. So um, that's about it. Obviously, taking the Ibanezes with me, taking my base with me as well. The steady cam keeps wanting to turn around. It mustn't be quite balanced. Uh, let's see if you can see it in the mirror just to see what I'm using. This is not going to be easy. Basically, there's a. Um, there we go. There's a counterweight and a handle, and it all balances on a ball joint. And there we go. So, I didn't really buy this to do handheld video shots like this because this looks kind of scary and I'm far too close which I apologise for um, but just to say yeah that's, this is what's going on so yeah no more YouTube updates probably for a while um, but although I might just do some just jamming through my rig just recorded with camcorder microphones just for a bit of fun um, but until next time whenever that next time is uh, I've been Martin Cliff uh, X of Virgin Project uh, soon to be something else entirely. Uh, it's all going to be very exciting, but till then, take care and I'll see you soon.